Hi, welcome. In this video, I will share an experiment I did a couple of weeks ago with my MacBook on how you can use your iPad as a light board. A light board is a way of sharing notes on screen with your audience while presenting. Without getting too theoretical, let's just dive into it. Let's start by setting up our input sources. I have no webcam, so I will use a video which will act as a camera source. So I got this video looping in VLC, let's assume this will be my webcam. Next, I want to capture my iPad screen. If you connect your iPad with a cable to your Mac, we can use QuickTime to capture it. Capturing is easy, just open QuickTime. When you open QuickTime, it will nag you to open a file, just press cancel. From the file, select New Movie Recording. It will open up with your iPad screen, if you're lucky. Well, maybe it's not luck, maybe it just remembers your last input device. Let me resize it first, before I show you how you can select the correct input source. Just click on the down chevron to see a list of devices. If your iPad has connected successfully with your Mac, you should be able to see it in the list. So, I'm using Affinity Photo on my iPad, but you can use probably any drawing application. My Affinity Photo has two layers, one background layer, which is pure green, and on top of that, an empty pixel layer on which I can draw and erase. Let me scribble something and mark my image borders. The input setup is ready. It's time for magic. And the OBS application will be the real magician here. If you open up OBS, you will be presented with something like this. OBS works with scenes you can set up. I already have an existing scene. Let's start with a new scene by pressing the plus button on the scene panel on the left bottom side of the application. It will prompt with a new name and it's always a good idea to give your scenes descriptive names. I will call it iPad Lightboard. Now that we have an empty scene, we need to add some input sources for the scene. So the idea is to set up two inputs a webcam and your iPad screen. OBS will combine them and you will have your light board. To add your webcam you would probably need to use a video capture device. As mentioned before, I have no webcam. I'm going to add the video from VLC which will act as a webcam. To capture what is being shown on the VLC application I'm going to use a window capture. Just as a reminder, if you want to use your webcam, add a new source as a video capture device. For this reason, I'm going to speed up the video for setting up the VLC. Excellent, OBS is now showing the VLC output in the preview. Pretty cool. Now we have our first input, which is our camera. Next input we need is the iPad screen. We will need to add a new source. As the iPad screen is now showing up in the QuickTime application, we will select Window Capture and from the drop-down of the application select the QuickTime application. Perfect! We can resize and position it in the view by dragging it with the mouse. Now, this shows the whole screen of the iPad, but we only want to see the green screen area. To do this, we will crop to the green screen area. This can be done by pressing the filters button and then adding a crop effect. I'm manually entering the crop values here, but here's a quick tip. You could also use the ALT key and drag the handles in the main window to crop the input source. While we are at the effects window, let's also add a chroma key effect. And there we have it, our light board. How cool is that? I can now draw on the iPad and it will be overlaid on top of the camera. One thing to keep in mind, after you set up your iPad input, do not resize QuickTime as this will break your layout. A nice feature is that you can disable input sources temporarily, for example the camera, so you can take yourself out of the picture and the viewer can focus on the drawing. Let me draw the setup for you on the iPad, and once ready, you can turn yourself back on. Pretty cool. I can also use Procreate or any other note-taking application which will allow you to change the background color to green. One final tip, 
if you will be using multiple colors it is best that you paint them first and fine tune the chroma key filter to get the best results. The latest version of OBS can also act as a virtual webcam. So the OBS stream can be used in any software with a webcam like Zoom or MS Teams. Have fun and keep being creative.